So another history video uh, answering questions that folks uh, have asked me about. Today we're going to talk about Arbutus and what is Arbutus uh, and why was it a topic that came up a whole bunch yesterday during the president's inauguration. Uh, so a lot of people know Arbutus as the name of the yearbook. Uh, so this is the 1914 Arbutus. Uh, or maybe they know Arbutus Lane uh, here in town, which people often think is named after the yearbook, which it's not. Um, very few people actually know that Arbutus uh, is the official flower of the university, uh, or it's called that. I haven't actually found where, when it was designated as the official flower, but over 100 years it's been referred to as the official flower of the university. And so Arbutus actually looks something like this. Um, and it is a really rare flower to find in Indiana and it's almost impossible or it, it's been impossible for over 100 years we've been trying to grow it in greenhouses uh, but the conditions in which it grows you really can't replicate in a greenhouse and so it's been almost impossible to do that um, and there were little patches of it all around uh, Monroe County in southern Indiana but it's, it's almost all gone now uh, there's almost none left and so Arbutus, which they thought only grew on the East Coast, uh, turned out that some of it grew around here. Uh, so there was a big thing called Arbutus mania that happened in the early, late 1800s, early 1900s. There was a place called Arbutus Hill, uh, about four miles east of town. Uh, and I've got a whole separate video I'm gonna do some point about Arbutus Hill. Uh, but Arbutus Hill is what spawned the name for the yearbook. Uh, in fact, this is the 1914 yearbook and it's got a picture of Arbutus right here in the front, although that's not the environment that it grows in. And then it's got a little description down here below uh, where it says that the trailing Arbutus is a modest spring flower which blossoms on the clay covered hillsides of Monroe County. Uh, and talks about how that's what the Arbutus yearbook is named for. Uh, now, why did this come up recently? Why were people asking about Arbutus? Well, yesterday was the inauguration of our 19th president, Pamela Witten. Uh, and at the ceremony, they uh, gave her the jewel of office, uh, which is this medallion right here. Uh, I've got a little better picture of it here when President McRobbie was wearing it. You can see here, this is the, the jewel of office. Uh, the jewel of office actually has, and you can't quite see it in this picture, but around the edges of it, that is actually trailing Arbutus uh, that is around the edges of it. And that's mentioned in the description over here where they're talking about the jewel of office. Uh, the jewel of office was given to the university by Beta Theta Pi uh, in 1946. And so it's been around since then in 1958, uh, Sigma Chi actually gave the chain of office to go with the jewel, which is what you see President McRobbie uh, wearing here. And since 1956, the names of the presidents have been engraved on these little bars. But if you look real closely, I don't know if you can really see this in the video, if I get close enough here, you can see this is actually flower-like uh, right above here and then each of these little spots right here. That is actually Arbutus flowers uh, that are on the chain of office to match what's in the jewel of office. Uh, and so Arbutus has a long history uh, of being associated with the university as the official flower. Unfortunately, it's nearly extinct um, or, or gone away in Southern Indiana for a variety of environmental reasons. I'll talk about that when I do the Arbutus Hill video uh, down the road. Uh, but that's why Arbutus as a name comes up. It's not just the yearbook, it's not just the street, uh, it's the official flower of the university. Uh, and now you know what it looks like. And it grows in uh, trailing clumps uh, on steep hillsides. And so if you ever think you know where some is, reach out to me, let me know. The IU botanists would love to be a part of that uh, and know where some more is uh, because we really only know where one plot is right now and it's a pretty small plot and it's not real healthy. Um, so anyway, so that's your update on what is Arbutus uh, and what does that mean? No, it's not a Latin phrase. Uh, no, it's not a made up word um, that it's a flower. So hopefully that answers your question and I'll be back with more questions down the road.